Well, if you don't know her, your kids probably do. Gabrielle Nevea Green is a Nickelodeon superstar. And besides starring in shows like That Girl Lele, she is on her way to a flourishing music and comedy career. In today's Java with Jamie, we find out how she went from wanting to be a doctor to now having a new dream. Gabrielle Nevea Green may have once played a barista in Nickelodeon's All That, but are you a coffee drinker? You know what? I'm not a coffee drinker. You're I'm not. a hot chocolate. Love hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. Okay. Jamie's actually has dope hot chocolate. It's like a big, kind of a big bowl. Oh. Yeah. That's why this week's Java with Jamie is a little sweeter than our regular latte. Green wanted to come to Jinkies in Studio City for the cup of cocoa Thank bigger you. than her head. All right. You ready? <laughs> Cheers. All right. Here we go. You take that on. Okay. Let me get a napkin. <laughs> All right, here's my whipped cream nose because there's no way to drink this without. No. Yeah. I don't see a way. Ooh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah? It's a good look. It's a good look. The 17 year old actress gets herself in sticky situations on her other Nickelodeon show, That Girl Lele. And being a Nick kid means a lot of slimy situations, too. So I was doing a shoot, and at the end of it, we all had to get slimed. It was like the grand finale. If you thought my whipped cream nose was bad... <laughs> Were you just green? I was green everywhere. Every nook and cranny you could possibly imagine oh, no. had slime. Like, my ears had slime. I was blowing slime out of my nose. <laughs> That's When you sign up to be on Nickelodeon, are you signing up to get slimed oh, eventually? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're a Nick kid and you haven't been slimed yet, are you really a Nick kid? Green is really a Nick kid and a good sport, having been slimed more than a dozen times. It's so cold, you guys! <laughs> she has almost 2 million followers on TikTok who are all looking to watch behind the scenes of That Girl Lele, as well as all of her castmates doing dance moves. We genuinely have a good time with each other, and that translates. So I think that's what makes our show so special is that we're real people. We really like each other. We're actually kind of a family, you know, with all of the ups and downs and in-betweens that a family has. Green plays Sadie, a somewhat shy teen, trying to come into her own with the help of Avatar Lele, who has special abilities. The two leads are breaking barriers. We're the first show that has two African-American female leads for Nickelodeon, and that's an honor, but we didn't understand the impact that it was gonna have, you know. When I was growing up, I didn't have very many people who looked like me or had my hair type uh, on television, so it's great to be that person for somebody else. I love that your character has a hard time kind of speaking up for herself. Do you have a hard time in real life speaking up for yourself? I used to. I used to really struggle with that, and uh, Sadie is kind of a representation of who I was when I was 11, 12, 13. Uh, and now it's really interesting to show that side that is kind of, it's still there, but it's not as prominent. And I feel like that's what really is going to speak to, and really what has spoken to girls, is that you can be shy and you can have, you know, anxiety and all of these different barriers, but still get the job done. And Green gets the job done. She's also hosted Nick News for Kids, as well as I'm going to go with the Cowboys. The Nick NFL wildcard game on Nickelodeon up with up CBS down, Morning's right? co-host yeah, Nate Burleson. I mean, what other broadcast are you going to slime the players? <laughs> no other broad no other broadcast. <laughs> well, Green is nonstop with acting and broadcast work now. She grew up thinking she wanted to be a doctor. That all changed when she attended a performing arts school in Florida. I, I preferred to sit in the back of the class never did any sort of presentation voluntarily. Even there, after I got in, I was still very much in my shell. She did lighting and behind the scenes work until she went to her parents and wanted to make a move. I felt like I had a bigger calling and my parents felt like I had a bigger calling. So we started, you know, reaching out to different agents and managers in the area and uh, I started going to intensives in New York and in L.A. and then we decided to move here just for six months to see what would happen and then we never left. Here you are. We never left. <laughs> Green hopes her story allows other kids to believe in themselves. When I told them I was going to move to L.A., I got a lot of, really, you? Mm. You? Okay, see you in six months. It's okay to be 
overlooked. It's okay for people not to recognize you right now because there's going to be somebody that does. And as she grows up, Green doesn't plan to ever get overlooked again. So at this point in my career, my goal is world domination. <laughs> you know, small goal. Small goal. I just I want to take over the world, but not in an evil way. <laughs> in a, you know, in a good way. In a like, good way. You know. Like I love it, positivity. I love that too, and ambition, right? It's such a, she's such a good messenger for viewers of Nick, like other yeah. kids. Oh, absolutely. By the way, Gabrielle was the first female and the first black female to call an NFL playoff game for CBS. Wow. So small goals, she just you know keeps achieving all these amazing things. And I was t telling you off camera, it's interesting when kids are wired this way, right? When they just have that energy the and drive. that ability and the drive to connect, and she has all the ingredients. And you're a Nick kid yourself. <laughs> understand the culture. I do. The Nick News for Kids. No, and she's um she's hosted a few too. She's fantastic. She just she's got the energy. She's got the drive. She's got the talent. I super impressive. Yeah, absolutely. It was so, fun to meet her. It was fun to meet her in person too. <laughs> Thank you.